good day everyone uh welcome to my youtube channel uh yeah welcome to my youtube channel uh if you are new here or watching us for the first time please don't forget to like and subscribe please okay so uh let me give us a peek of what we are going to do today uh it's just a simple uh birthday flyer yeah in photoshop yeah so it's just a simple birthday flyer so uh let me show us what the design looks like so here's what the design looks like yeah here's what the design looks like when we are through or uh, with what we, we we are doing here's what we are going to achieve here's what you are going to get okay so without further ado let's just dive into it <laughs> welcome back on uh, the first thing we are going to do you all know is just to create uh, a new document so all you have to do is just come to your new click on new uh, then we are going to use the default size of Instagram I love that size mostly the vertical and horizontal so here's the file size for the vertical is all uh, 1080 by 1350 in pixel actually why the landscape is on uh, is in uh, the landscape yeah is in a 10 okay sorry is in 1080 by 1080 but we are using the vertical instagram uh, size so the size here is uh 1080 by 1080 1350 resolution blah 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 your background must be in black white sorry rgb rgb color then you can just change the name to uh birthday design to bend the design then uh, just click on create okay so uh here is <coughs> our canva as you all know it's called it's being called canva yeah it's called canva so here is our canva here is our canva uh what do you have to do what do you have to do then the first thing to be done you know when you are designing is uh, bringing your background yeah i don't know but most of the designers i've seen started with the use of background then i i i adore that uh, that method so let's just drag and drop our background so here's the background being used in the design the design so just drag and drop then uh hold alt key on your keyboard and then drag from the side here to scale it up yeah there you go then click on the check icon so uh here we have it first you must convert it to smart objects may is a smart object already then that will allow me to uh, edit it maybe maybe i applied something let me show you the difference okay is in smart objects now let me apply a little bit of blur to it it buzz blur 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 so you can see the blur like this maybe okay sorry blur gaussian blur let me use gaussian blur okay so as soon as i i now discover that wow the blur is too much then i can come back to the gaussian blur right here without the smart filter double click on it then reduce it that's that's how uh, what's it called that's how uh, smart object works assume it's not a smart object maybe when you bring it in just right click on it and rasterize layer you find that it's powerless there's nothing underneath it there's nothing indicating that it's a smart object so once you go to your filter and you choose blur and you choose gaussian blur it will just blow it directly then maybe you saw a mistake and you want to redo you can't go back again you can see there's nothing there's literally nothing under it so that's the difference between uh uh getting your stuff in smart object and uh on normal layer so we have it we need it in smart object actually so it's in smart object so next we have to this come to your filter then blur gaussian blur then it's kind of too much it's except we want to uh, color grade our design that's why i'm using this type of videos but that's kind of too much let's use something like uh maybe 10 uh okay okay let's use something like 15 then click on okay so here's what we are then the next we have to do, just bring in your image here is the image right here then uh it's also a, you can see it's a full it's a full instagram uh size so next you have to the image also is a smart object i love that then come to your select and click on subject <coughs> then it's going to select only the subject it's going to select it uh leaving it apart from its background so that will enable us to remove the background ourselves in photoshop i really love these settings 
it helps me a lot so uh you just give photoshop some times to do its magic you can see right here the image is selected already then all you have to do is just come to your layer max right here yeah add layer mask just add layer mask then you can see right here it has already removed the background then click on the image then press ctrl plus a to select all then click on this right here to centerize it so it's in center already press ctrl plus d to deselect or you come to select and click on deselect as you can see it's ctrl plus d but i feel like shortcut is more helpful than going to blah 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 okay so uh what's the next thing to do there is uh is to is to color grade the image the grading is okay i love the resolution but i'm not satisfied yeah we have to apply some uh stuff to it to make it look small more cool yeah so uh how do i do that all you have to do is just the image is a smart object already then come to your filter and go to uh camera or filter yeah so uh, i already have the preset save then i don't have to sorry click on the main image right here not the layer max then come to filter camera raw filter uh, so here is the image i already have the preset save i can't like do again do so or uh, you find the presets in the link in the bio in the link in the description actually sorry every uh, material you are used in this design you can find it in the link in the description just to get it download and try out something so uh, let me just the presets i made for this uh, design let me just bring it in instead of me just redoing but you can find the presets uh underneath uh the description yeah so just click on this option icon then uh, load settings and load settings i think i have it right here yeah so here it is right here here it is just click on it then click on open yeah these settings i gave to you you can see it's it's booms yeah so click on ok so that's why i love grading my image you can see years before and years after wow that's quite a transformation that's quite a transformation okay so uh, just <coughs> click on the image then transform it by pressing ctrl plus t uh, to scale it then uh bring it up a little bit that's okay i think yeah that's cool so then click on your shake icon yeah that's okay that's what we need that's what we need that's what we need then uh it's not centralized it's not so click on the image and press ctrl plus a then click on this icon right here to centralize it yeah so yeah press ctrl plus d to deselect so that's what we need the next thing there is i've not finished making the background actually so here's what i use for the next background just drag this in and drop then bring it to the top right here check then drag it down then come to filter filter then blur yeah i think i think 25 will be enough yeah 25 will be enough click on ok then click on the image bag and bring it to the center right here using your own uh and sorry instead of using ctrl c so uh that's what i need the, the leave also let it be in here a little bit that's what i need that's what i need then uh the next thing to do there is uh, add some color balance yeah the color is not balanced i don't like how it looks like so all uh, the next thing we have to do is just add color balance then come to your adjustment layer uh click on it then you see color balance click on the color balance there is my property right here then uh let me add a little bit of uh yellow to it then a little bit of red yeah so you can see the difference now years before years after you can see the difference the difference is very very clear so uh you can see years before years after so click on the color balancing they come to your uh, come to your shadow they are the same settings but not too much highlight also but not too much yeah we are good to go then that's okay that's okay that's okay that's okay so uh, all we have to do is click on the color balancing then yeah that's okay <clears throat> so the next thing we have to do there is is on is on is quite simple it's quite simple yeah 
uh, we are we are almost through with the design we're almost through with the design actually we're almost through with the design the next thing i did is i just add a little bit of darkness to the down part here so uh, how do i do that i click on this to add a new layer once you click on that it's going to add a new layer so i click on it to add a new layer you can see right here is it states layer one or you click ctrl shift and click on it's going to add you layer one just click on ok you can see right here it adds another layer so that's what i need so ctrl shift and for the short short key short key yeah short but shortcuts shortcuts alt key short key yeah but so click on ok then uh here's what i need there the next thing i did, just come to my lasso to then make a rough selection down part right here yeah uh bring it up then release yeah throughout those time i, I hold down my mouse to make the selection then uh, the next thing there is i just come to my uh i just make layer, i click on solid color then i choose black then okay then i click on the color fill <coughs> sorry convert to smart object then the next thing i did filter just give it some gosh yeah, blow my babe so i'll just increase it increase it that's okay then come back to it your opacity reduce the opacity that's okay that's that's looking promising that's looking good <clears throat> so the next thing there is just to add the test but i'm not going to type that just copy and paste copy and paste okay so uh the test is is in already yeah well, let me just make uh, a little adjustment to it i don't like the way it is right here okay so uh yeah that's cool that's cool that's cool so the next thing i i, I actually did is uh, i had a little bit of flower to this side this side. but before that i had a little bit of lightning on the lady how do i do that click on the ladies layer then i'll come let me just drag in this here is what i use i drag in this oh sorry not that just delete that i drag in this light then drag and drop into photoshop place it right here increase the size a little bit place it right here then i change the blend mode to screen then uh, it's kind of too intense it's too much just reduce the opacity yeah then uh old alt on the keyboard old alt key then drag it down it's going to duplicate it then one at the down one at the <coughs> one 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 is down why the other one is at the top so just decrease the opacity at the one at the top okay that's cool that's cool that's what i need the next thing i did here is i bring in this glass effect for the test just drag this and drop it to photoshop then this one will be uh this one will be on top yeah then i just control t to transform decrease the size then press right here then on your keyboard press uh control plus this uh control plus plus to zoom in then use your mouse to uh adjust it then control plus plus to zoom in yeah we can see what we are doing very well so that's cool then uh just decrease the opacity that's okay next thing there is a uh, I bring in this beautiful leaf here just drag and drop into photoshop but one thing i notice is that the color is off yeah the color is very very off so what i do i just first i place it right here then the next thing i did here is uh, is in smart object already so i just come to your filter and apply a little bit of gaussian blur to it yeah a little bit of gaussian blur of i think 12 yeah 12 is okay then okay then uh what do i do to make the color looks okay then i come to my adjustment layer i come to your saturation then uh 
I click on this icon right here to create clipping mask. So it's going to affect only the flower. You can see right here, it's bring the arrow down. It's going to affect only the flower. So the flower. Yeah. Anyhow. So it's going to affect only this. Then uh, all you have to do is just find the right color that matches what we are doing. Then uh, not this, actually not this, not that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So here's before and here's after. So that's what I'm talking about. Then next you have to do is hold your shift or <coughs> sorry, <coughs> hold the control, hold your control, your keyboard and click on the, uh, the flower. Because rules. Anyhow, just click on it and press Ctrl plus G to group. Then uh, hold down your alt key on your keyboard. Then hold down your alt key. Then come to your screen. Then drag this one to the other side. Just going to make uh, a duplicate. Hold down your. Let me redo that. Hold down your alt key. You can see the mouse changes. You can see the pick of the mouse is changes. Then drag. Yeah, that's what I need. Then adjust this a little bit adjust this also then uh, the next thing I basically do there is uh, this flower so I put one here so just hold alt also and bring one up then control plus T that's okay control plus T to resize it then bring it right here then still I still resize it then press ok then I bring it down here's the layer right here I brought it down sorry to so, uh, the date of the february then is right here so that's how i achieve that part okay so uh what's the next thing there i think we are done next thing there is just to apply a little bit of color grading how do i grade my, de my design actually so let me show you you can see right here this uh this beautiful leaf and this that's all we use for our background so just hold down your control on the keyboard then click on the two backgrounds then control plus e on your uh, on your keyboard to match ctrl plus z to match then uh, hold down your alt key then drag it to the top the top part the first part yeah so put it there you can see it makes like our background so we are going to right click on that convert to smart and smart object then come to your filter block gaussian block then uh, we are going to apply bit of Videos. It's going to be much a little bit. So that's okay. I think I use a one six four point seven pixel. Then click on OK. Then the next thing I did here is change the blend mode from normal to screen. Yeah. Oh, overlay now. Nah. I'm using screen this time. Overlay get out. Then uh from to screen. The next I just I just reduce the opacity to something like six. Yeah, you can see right here years before years before years after so that's how i grade my design yeah so next thing i did is that's okay then on your keyboard let's apply a little bit of camera or filter to it to make it uh finish we make the finishing of the design then all you have to do on the same keyboard you're using hold control alt shift and e so what that do is that it 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 makes selection of everything on the screen, then convert it to one image. You can see right now here is it right here. If you move, you can see it has convert everything to one image. Here is the layer right here. So that's what Control Alt Shift, Control Alt Shift plus E does. Then right click on it, then uh, convert to Smart Object, then go to Filter, Camera Filter. Then uh, let me just apply this. Let me, don't let me load the settings let me just apply it so you can see what i'm doing then uh, i apply a little bit of uh, tint just plus four yeah then uh texture a little bit also curiosity a little bit the ears a little bit then vibrance vibrance also a little bit then saturation a little bit actually then uh, I think I'm done. Then I click on OK. Then you can see the before and after. Years before, years after. So that's the power of our uh, camera filter. Uh, so that's all for today. Yeah. And if you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please. Like and subscribe. That will enable us to uh, get more content and energy. Let me just say that. It gives me energy to create more videos. So, uh,
how do you find this video helpful let me know in the, the comment section below so till next time stay safe